Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Psalm chapter 73, verse 28. But we will read the, 70, the 28 verses this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thanking you yet still for another morning and even if we just look back dear lord at every single morning we can get up and say thank you that in itself is something to give thanks for because you have preserved us you have sustained us you have given us that spirit of perseverance you have also kept us grounded you have kept us diligent you have kept us faithful you have done all these things unto us it's not of ourselves if it was of ourselves, we'd wake up some morning and like, uh, can't be asked, I can't be bothered, I'm tired today, or this or that. Make us excuses, because the flesh is weak. But you in us, dear Lord, give us that unction, that oomph, to get up, to thank you, to give you praise, to give you worship, to partake in your word. And we know all of this of you is for you, by you, and everything is wrapped up in you. All our lives, all our beings, all of creation is wrapped up in you. And I want to pray this morning that we are wrapped up in your goodness, in your mercies, in your grace, in your love. We do not want to be wrapped up in your wrath <laughs> because we know there is no escape in it, nor is there any to deliver out of the hand of the mighty God. So this morning I do ask that you continue, continue to keep us faithful towards you, dear Lord. Continue to keep us seeking you in everything that we do. And at times we do fall short in this when we do get caught up with the cares of this life. When we do get caught up with the motions of things, the runnings of things, and then we neglect to consult you. We, we, we neglect to, to just take time out to, to be in your presence and to speak to you and to listen to what you have in store or those things that you command us to do and in these times when we fall short dear lord i do ask for forgiveness and i do ask really that we don't do that i do not see the point of continuing in that so i pray that you keep us from backsliding keep us from slipping keep us from looking back keep us from deviating from that path of righteousness keep us from stagnating also what i ask of you for each and every person here in this prayer is that strength by strength step by step you keep us forward moving in all strength that you can give us lord jesus christ let us be a persevering let us be overcomers overcoming this world as you have taught so in the day that you do come to redeem in the day that you do come to judge both living and dead we shall inherit the promises we shall inherit the goodness of you and we shall abide in your eternal glory and presence forevermore thank you for this knowledge lord jesus christ as always yes the tests and trials are going to come and this is why i pray each and every day with all genuinity, with all sincerity, that you keep us from falling and you keep us in all tests and trial to still show that love of God, that light of Christ in all this world of darkness and evil so that you may be magnified and we may be true witnesses of you, bearing that image of you in your righteousness to the glory of you and your name, Lord Jesus Christ. And that we are instilling these values, teaching, nurturing, steering the children in this truth and this righteousness. So that when they are of age, they shall never neglect nor reject you. As we ask, lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning to the glory of God our Heavenly Father. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Alright, so Psalm 73 verse 28 doing a psalm a day and before i even start 
the heading here says the prosperity of the wicked. And we're gonna we're gonna touch on that a little bit. So Psalm 73, a psalm of Asaph. Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain, violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, they have no more that they have more than heart could wish. So let me read verse 7 again. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than, that, than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore his people return hither and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How doth God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily I have cleansed my heart, sorry, verily I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands of innocency. For all the day Long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say, I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou casteth them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation? As in a moment, they are utterly consumed with the terrors. As a dream when, as a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I, and ignorant, I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee, thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou hast guided me, or thou hast guided me with thy counsel, and afterward received me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee, and there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For, lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. Amen. <clears throat> and uh, as I said, I just wanted to touch on the prosperity of the wicked. And sometimes we do look at our lives and we're like, why why me? We have our why me moments. Like, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why is this not? And um, sometimes we look to people prospering and then in unrighteousness and sometimes we can get jealous or envious or we question it or we long for it but as the psalm psalmist was teaching us here even if our flesh is succumbing to this we just pray to god that we do not um succumb to it right we don't fully um give over ourselves to these thoughts and to these um desires these intent to to, to um, exemplify the wicked deeds so that we can prosper in this world, right? The Lord has his way and he knows what we are able to 
bear in this in this life and he's not going to give us more than we can right so let us look to him as the scripture says here um we we are fool we were foolish or we are foolish and ignorant and as beasts when we kind of do long after the things after the world and forsake god but what we want is for to draw near to god as verse 28 says right put our trust in him and be true witnesses of him declaring and bearing the image of christ so i'll leave it at that this morning a nice psalm to consider and have a, a reason on meditate on also as always anything you want to share drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreachone.org as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow